<laughs> Jim, I told you why I didn't pull. And I said within five blocks. That's some kind of rule. I pulled over before five blocks was up. Okay, Jim. Forsaking your story. I pull over, Jim. I get out of the car. They take my son out of the car. They put my son on the sidewalk. Oh, they can't let a child sit on the sidewalk, Jim. They place the child in the back of the police car. That would have happened, Jim. They would have put my son in the back of the police car. And while searching the car, which they found nothing, say they decide to tow the car. For instance, I'm going to tow this car because you already have a ticket, which I mentioned. They will not, and since there was suspicion of drunk driving, I would have had to, to go take the sobriety test. In this case, they take you to the jail damn near to do the sobriety test. So I'm downtown taking the sobriety test. They are not going to let my child walk home. Jim, my child is placed in the back of a police car and then carted off to Child Protective Services and is fingerprinted processed and placed into the system until his mother comes to get him. There's a preconceived notion that since my son is in high school that the police would allow a minor to walk home. If there's any suspicion of anything, they keep the child. Now, since they found nothing on me, and the only thing I really didn't do was stop when they first put the lights on. But you said yourself, you drove miles and miles after they lit you up. I was a few blocks from home. It was safe for me, for me to pull into my driveway for my child. That's the safest place. Because that way my child would not have to be processed and booked and pretty much held at the juvenile hall not the juvenile, yeah, yeah, he'd have to go all the way to Los Gillicos. He would have had to be picked up from Juvenile Hall. Why have my son processed, process, processed, processed like a criminal? Why even allow the opportunity for the state to take my son like they took my brother? Even for four minutes even for 20 minutes, even for an hour. So while I'm over here doing my sobriety check downtown, my son would be at Los Gillicos Juvenile Hall detention facility until his mother picked him up as a precaution. See? Fingerprint the child for no apparent reason at all. Book a child. Have his parent, other parent, have to come get him. Those are the core reasons I didn't stop the car to prevent my child's processing within the state. How fucking stupid can you be, dude, for me to have to keep on repeating the same old fucking old ass two week ago shit? It's the truth, Jim. They're not going to let a minor walk home, even if it would have been one block from the house. He walks 12 times that distance home from school. They wouldn't let him walk one block to the house. It's against the rules, Jim. You do not let a minor walk home from any scene. This is California. It's not some little Italian kid. This is a straight A student. They'd love to write his name down and take his picture. With hopes that, ooh, some kid looked like him that did something. Let's go to his classroom and pull him out of class because he looked like somebody. Jim, we come from a police state, Jim. You do not give up the future. 
forsaking your own ass. I'd pull into my driveway 500 times. And I was within, I was within five blocks from the store I was leaving. I didn't say the lights were on me for five blocks, Jim. As a matter of fact, Jim, I did a reenactment video, Jim, just for you. Jim, get the story straight, Jim. I'm not going to have to talk about the same old thing over and over again because I don't like dwelling on it. I just did three videos about the, the, uh, the, the, the four police officers getting murdered in Oakland, Jim. Three videos back to back to back about the same situation. Because people can't understand why I speak to them plainly. I didn't stop my fucking car because my kid was in the car, Jim. Because in my history, Jim. Because of my memories, Jim. You understand what I'm saying? I don't trust the police with my child in their custody. Not for one minute. Not for two minutes, Jim. You can't do that, Jimmy. It's not worth it. The downside is <whistles> something I can't afford to pay. Go have my child fingerprinted and processed. For what? Well, we didn't find anything in your car and you're not drunk. Your wife will have to come pick him up at the facility. You won't just drop him off at the facility and let him sit in the front lobby. He will be processed, Jim. We don't live in a world that's perfect. We live in a world that's controlled. And until you can see beyond well, maybe you're too old to see, Jim. Maybe you're set in your ways. Maybe tomorrow is not guaranteed for you, so you live it all in one day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed for me either. But I'm going to see what I can get. I'm going to have that promise. Explain this dumb motherfucker every damn time.